It's Quackers Clocks here with another set of NFL predictions. This time, it's week three. Anyways, tonight we have the New York Giants taking on the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going with San Francisco. Their offense is stout. Their defense is really good. And the Giants have been struggling to score points all season. Well, except for, you know, the 31 points that they've scored all season. Um... But, yeah, 31 points. That's it. In two weeks. Didn't score a single thing in week one. Didn't score a single thing in the first half of last week's game against Arizona. And then they ended up winning. So. Anyways, I am going with the 49ers over the Giants. And that would put them at 3-0. and The Giants would be 1-2, and respectively. The Atlanta Falcons take on the Detroit Lions. I'm going with Atlanta here. Um, I know one of the times that these two teams met, Todd Gurley stumbled into the end zone by mistake, and they choked the game away. But I don't think these are the same old Falcons. Those are the Falcons that were led by Raheem Morris. Now these are the Falcons that are led by Arthur Smith. So. I think this is his third year coaching here. So. And as for the Lions, they struggled quite a bit against um, Seattle. They always struggle against Seattle, but I think Atlanta, let's just see what happens. Let's put the Lions at 1-2, and two, and then the Falcons at 3-0. and oh. they've, they've been playing pretty well these past few weeks, so I don't underestimate them. So I'm going with the Atlanta Falcons. The Los Angeles Chargers take on the Minnesota Vikings. I'm sorry, I have to go with L.A. Despite them losing this past week against the Titans, I think that um, the Vikings are not good. They are not good on the boat. They are not good keeping... Possession, they're not good with offense. Their defense is kind of mediocre. And I think that they will lose to the Chargers here pretty easily. Justin Herbert can look good when he wants to. I mean... It's just that they kind of lost control near the end of the game against Tennessee. So I think that the Chargers will beat the Vikings. They will be 2-1. and one. Vikings will be 0-3. I'm not liking this Vikings team at all. Anyways, next we have the New Orleans Saints taking on the Green Bay Packers. I am going to go with the Saints. The Packers look good, but I don't think they'll... Um, the Saints have been looking quite good over the past two weeks of past two weeks of play. I think the Green Bay Packers still need some work, but but I think the um, I think the Saints can get this done to this week. So. I am going to go with New Orleans over Green Bay here. The Houston Texans take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. I am going to go with the Jags. That's pretty easy. The Texans are terrible again. And fortunately for me, I get to see them lose and get in up. C.J. Stroud looks cooked already. Well, that line isn't really good, so. 
that line really isn't that good of an offense. Like, that offensive line is not great. Um, and as for the Jags, I think they can win this. I know that they... It's at home as well, so that that this will be an easier opponent than the Chiefs. So we beat them 17 to nine. So, anyways, I'm going with the Jags over the Texans. They will be two and one. The Texans will be 0 and three. The Denver Broncos take on the Miami Dolphins. I am going to go with the Dolphins. The Dolphins look really good this year. And they beat they beat New England. So um, that's one of the things that... Like, back, back in the day when Brady was playing, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to beat New England at all. So... This is just a testament to how far we've come and how much they've rebuilt over the past few years, transitioning without Brady in their division. And I like Mike McDaniel. He's a really good coach. I think they picked the right guy. Uh, They made the playoffs last year. As the number seven seed, which was kind of expected that the seven seed loses. So I'm gonna go with the Dolphins over the Broncos. They would be three and zero. The Broncos will be zero and three. The Tennessee Titans take on the Cleveland Browns. I'm gonna go with Cleveland here, um, just because. Um, Um, the Titans I can't really rely on to win games. They escaped that game against Char- against the Chargers just because they were playing the Chargers. But now it's the Cleveland Browns. But then again, the Browns really aren't that good either. So um, I just think... Um, um, the Titans, I mean, if Derrick Henry can get some really good yardage, I think they will be okay. But if, you know, the Browns O-line fails them again, then, yeah, this prediction will definitely be wrong. They definitely need new blindside blockers. So, um, Jedrick Wills needs to go. Anyway, I'm going with the Browns over the Titans here. The Browns will be 2-1, and one and the Titans will be 1-2. and two. The Buffalo Bills take on the Washington Commanders. I'm going to go with the Bills. Uh, the, I know the Commanders have had a hot streak. I mean, they have two... They're 2-0. Two and oh. They're both... I mean, and the Bills are 1-1, one and one, but... Did you guys see that dominant performance against the Raiders? I think they're going to do that again, but in um, but in Washington. So, I think the I think that they the Commanders will end up winning this game. Actually, no, the Bills. I'm sorry. The Bills will end up winning this game here. Yeah, the Bills. Just to be clear, I'm picking Buffalo. Not Washington. The Indianapolis Colts take on the Baltimore Ravens. I am going to go with the Ravens over the Colts. I mean, they barely escaped a win against Cincinnati, but I think the but I think with Lamar Jackson healthy, I think they can go. I think they can get to the playoffs. So I mean, it's early in the year, but if Lamar stays healthy and stays consistent then I think that they can make the playoffs pretty easily. As for Indy, yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to stay I'm trying to say that um, Anthony Richardson is I mean he's I don't know if he's the answer, but I think 
Indy kind of reached for him. I mean, he had a great combine and all, but he was supposed to be a mid-first-round pick. He wasn't supposed to go up this high. So, anyways, I am going to go with the Ravens over the Colts here. Just because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical about Indy right now. The New England Patriots take on the New York Jets. I'm going to go with the Jets. I mean, Patriots just look pretty bad. And as for the Jets, I mean, I'm not sure how worse they're going to be without Aaron Rodgers, but they have a lot of they have a lot of good talent on the receiving side of the ball, receiving core, I should say. Garrett Wilson, Alan Lazard, um, Nicole Hardman, all those guys. All those guys are really good wide receivers, and I think them signing with the Jets was... I mean, Hardman was kind of... You know, I miss him, but, you know... Business is business, I guess. So, I am going to go with the Jets over the Patriots. I think the Patriots offense, I mean... It's all right. It's not that good. Just it's just average. So is the Jets offense, but I know they just lost to Dallas. Dallas. So I think this is going to be an easier win for them. Um, I think this is going to be an easy win for the Jets here. Did you know that I went thirteen and three last week? Just just saying. Like I only got three predictions wrong. I think that's the most I've ever gotten out of this series. Actually, I think there are more, but probably in 2020, but when I first started this. I first started this prediction series in 2020. Um, I've been doing it ever since, so. Anyways, the Carolina Panthers take on the Seattle Seahawks. I'm going with Seattle here. Um, the, Pan the Seahawks put quite... They put up quite a fight against Detroit and ended up, ended up winning with Tyler Lockett going into the end zone. Um, the Panthers, they just look bad. They do not look good at all. I mean, this feels like Frank Reich. I mean, I don't think Frank Reich has changed. Um, hopefully, I mean, this isn't Matt Rule's Panthers, but it's pretty close. So, um, but I'm going to go with Seattle here. The Panthers just look washed. They'll be 0-3. Seattle will be 2-1 um, after this week. So, uh, Yes. The game that I've been waiting for all year has come finally come in the form of the Chicago Bears playing the Kansas City Chiefs. Nathan, if you're watching this, Nathan's my friend from high school. He He's a Bears fan, and I'm a Chiefs fan, so we'll definitely be texting each other during the game. I think this might be the uh, um, national slot, but I'm not exactly sure. This would be a good game. This is a good game to, you know. I mean, we're playing the Bears. This will be easy. I think this... Yeah, the Chiefs will be 2-1. As for the Bears, they'll be 0-3. I mean, I'm picking the Chiefs over the Bears. The Dallas Cowboys take on the Arizona Cardinals. I am going to go with the Cowboys. The Cardinals are trying to tank for Caleb Williams. So, no matter what, I think the Cardinals will end up losing in some... Hilarious fashion. So. I think the Cowboys will be. Um, three and oh. Yeah, three and oh. They'd be three and oh. And the Cardinals would be oh and three. 
not a not a good looking start to the season. Sunday night we have the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. I'm going with Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh looked dominant. Well, not I wouldn't say dominant, but I definitely defensively dominant against the Cleveland Browns on Monday. Prayers up for Nick Chubb though. Like I I do not wish that upon anybody. I do not wish that kind of injury upon anybody, no matter who it is, Nick Chubb or some other football player. I don't, I don't wish injuries up upon people. So, also speaking of, well, this goes back to the Patriots Jets game. Did you hear that um, Patriots fan died after getting punched in the face? After the game? After the Dolphins-Patriots game on Sunday? Jesus. The, the dude was like 53 years old. He had a family. That's just sad. My condolences to him. My condolences to his family. But... But I am going with Pittsburgh. They will be 2-1. and one, And the Raiders will be 1-2. and two. This... That seems a little bit more normal for the Raiders. So, the Philadelphia Eagles take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm gonna go with Philly. Um, I know the both of these teams are two and zero, so one of these teams has to lose or tie, depending on what, if they go into overtime. But I am going with Philly. Philly will be three and zero, and the Bucks, they will be two and one. They'll still look, they'll still look mighty in that profile in that playoff picture. So, um, um. I'm going with the Eagles over the Bucks. And last but not least, we have the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Super Bowl 56 matchup, rematch. Super Bowl 56 rematch. So, I'm going to go with Cincy this time around. I mean... I'm not sure if the Rams are back just yet. They're one and one, but hopefully Cincy can get a win this season. So I am gonna go with this, the Bengals over the Rams. And those are my picks for Week Three. We'll see you guys next week when I cover Week Four and Week Week Three aftermath.